90, 10 off being a... What's this? Just get on with it. All right, what's the, what's it, going right. on? Where are okay, we? What's we are on? at Kong's Cardiff with Rob and Tom. Thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. We're welcome. going to be talking uh, arcade games. We're going to be talking bars, Cardiff. Bar, arcade, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's about it. Like can't, can't, that's can't it. Um, what else? What else are we doing? Computer games. We're going to talk transfer speculation, okay. which is there's a lot to get yeah, through. Keep to going. be fair, in the rumours. We're going to talk. Come I've got on. a good reader's wife. Faster. Come on. Faster. Okay. okay. World we're gonna, Cup. We're going to impact World our Cup. women's World Cup, yeah. and we're also bringing back our most beloved game that we've ever played on this podcast. Okay. Anything else? We? That's enough. I feedback? think. Feedback. Oh, there'll be a bit of feedback, and then outro. That's where we go on. All right. So, should we play the music? <laughs> Kongs from the Kongs. Yeah. That's good, isn't it? Yeah, we're with Paddy as well. Paddy's back. Yeah. Yes. More of him, July Paddy's the 10th. Paddy's our quiz master, yeah. July He's the nice. 10th, our quiz. Paddy will be back. Right, tonight we're at Kongs. This um, is a special one. I'm, I'm liking this. Talk to us about Kongs. Explain to the people. Okay, so we started off in Bristol uh, yeah. about four years ago. The concept was pretty simple. Uh, we love arcade machines, we love yep. table tennis, we love craft beer. Put all those together and that's what you get really. Now there's a nice synergy. Outrun. Yeah, definitely mm. Outrun. Outrun. Uh, Outrun 2 though. It's not the oh, it's yeah. not the one from the 80s, it's the one from the early 2000s. Yeah. Um, and then Pac-Man, Battle Royale, yeah. Street Fighter, Donkey Kong, Donkey Street Kong. Fighter 2, Kong. two yeah, yeah. Uh, Turbo, and Mortal Kombat. So. What's the yeah. What's the trashiest one? What's the one no one plays? <laughs> 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 and and Double Dragon. Double Dragon is a shit. I just like track and fields there. That still gets a bit of a pull. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's weird, yeah, yeah. isn't it? They like the punishment. Yeah, they do, and then they, they go away. They're like, oh, I just pulled my shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like time and like nostalgia makes everything yeah, look so I much better. better. And yeah. you come back and, and like, actually, this is continual just, thing. No good. Yeah. Have you got any football arcade okay, games? I was thinking about it. The Th- there's one called. Uh, I used to play it back in the day. I was trying to find it, um, but no, the answer is no. But I'm trying to get hold of one. No, I do listen to like what the guys recommend, yeah. uh, but then also it depends on what's available, what at what cost, because yeah. some of these machines. You either have to get an old motherboard and then build your own mm. um, casing, which costs quite a bit, yeah. Yeah. or you get a um, the emulator. Um, so the, the, and it depends. Yeah, exactly. It just depends on the availability and cost. I really want to play that game now. Um, oh, we've got a podcast to do. <laughs> Speculation. Um, we're going to just talk a few of the biggest rumours that are happening right now. It's all purely speculation. Just speculation. speculation. And then just throw in if you think they're good or bad. <laughs> I'll start, being a Man United fan, mm. I'll start with Maguire to Man United. Shut it's up. all speculation. Mm-hmm. Leicester won £80 million is the rumour. It's all speculation. How is Harry Maguire worth more than, than the link? It's all speculation. Oh, it's look, we've got into like a Man United loop no, again. No, I'm going to stay in the Man United loop out. and say Aaron Wambazaka. Is he worth 60 million? Shut it's up. all speculation. <laughs> like, what's going on? Yeah, I think the market's just... Yeah, no, he's, he's definitely not 60, is he? But he's, he's like a talented youth. Like, yeah. uh, he's, uh, I'll give him the map, but I don't think he's worth 60 million. Can I, yeah. I would suggest, based on how Diogo Dalot performed for Porto, when I was watching, every time he played, he's very good. Mm. Very, very good. He's a young, he's a young fullback. Aaron Wambazaka has played very good for Crystal Palace. He's a young... But the difference in price is £41 million. Yeah, no, Dalo so. signed for 19 What about Rakitic? Well, Rakitic is another rumour well, United. Really it. It's all speculation. So, I don't do you know where I think Rakitic should go? It's back to it. Juventus are crying out for Ramsey. midfielders. It's all speculation. Yeah, when well, they've got Ramsey coming in, yeah. there's also talk that you know, they're trying to bring back Paul Pogba, who's another one on the list to talk yeah. about, even though it looks like Real are going all out to sign him. Yeah. It's all speculation. I think Paul Pogba is the best centre midfielder in world football on his day. He's unplayable. On his day. The problem is, those days happen at France. Shut it's up. all speculation. I still think he's quite immature. I think yeah. he's extremely He plays immature. whenever he wants, he's so fickle. Shut it's up. all speculation. No one would ever write him off, though. No one's going to write him off. 
No, he's just, no one will. He's just <laughs> and to have that, he's, he, I, he is a mercurial talent. I'll use that. I'll use that term because he, he is a, he's a game changer. When he's in full flow, yeah. he's electric. Now it's oh, worth having someone in your in your team who can do that, and it's just controlling the ether. It's all speculation, in Beckham. Like I love the man. Yeah. To be frank, to be frank, you do things. I too. do. Let, yeah. I would let him do whatever yeah. he wanted. He's a good looking man. <laughs> Johnny yeah. Johnny Q. Exactly. And there's, there's, yeah. I just look at him and go, like, "Thank you." What's the point? <laughs> it's all speculation. Paulo Dybala seems to be going here, there, and everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Juventus, since they bought Ronaldo and they shifted him out, he hasn't. Alright, do we all he rate a, Ryan Fraser? Look, yeah. Ryan Fraser is Everyone happy with that? Glad you brought him in. Yeah, I like yeah. it. Yeah. Rumoured to be signing for Arsenal. Yeah, I think, Ryan I think, Fraser. I think, I think Arsenal Arsenal like purely yeah. speculation. Yeah. It's all speculation. I think that's a great signing for Arsenal. What about yeah. Carrasco? Carrasco would be good. He suits him. He does suit him. I, suits I, him. I think he's stylish. It's like him and Bellerin the just problem, strutting you know, the around. The only problem that I have with these signings that Arsenal are making is I want to walk in there into a boardroom and just go, you do realise none of these are centre-backs, yeah? Because yeah. <laughs> that's where your issue is. It's all speculation. Yeah. It's the same at United. Stop bringing in Daniel James from Swansea. <laughs> I'm a big fan of him. He's yeah. so happy. He don't play centre-back. So it's all speculation. He's yeah. little face. Why are you hating on him? Well, our centre-back partnership, we still have Chris Smalling, Marcus Rojo and Phil Jones yeah. on our books. Don't be buying me 19 year old left wingers from yeah. Swansea. Yeah. Get me a centre back. True. Now, yeah. and Arsenal oh, right. the same thing. Back on Man United. Right, I know. <laughs> we'll move away from Man United. It's all speculation. Uh, Serie A clubs have thought about how they will sell players to each other and you end up getting players like Zlatan, who's played for Everyone. AC, Inter, and Juve. Yeah. You get, they just sell players to each other. Like mm. Higuain. When he was on fire at Juventus, but they wanted to bring Ronaldo, so they're like, we can't have him. Yeah. Right, we'll just let you go to our, one of our biggest rivals. It happens all the time, it's yeah. mad. Do you think Higuain? Could, could it's happening, it? right, it's happening again. I mean, get excited, it's happening <laughs> again. The rumour is this, Edin Dzeko is going to leave Roma to go to Inter, who's under Antonio Conte now. Yeah. Then that'll leave a space at Roma, with Gonzalo Higuain is going to go to Roma because Chelsea have decided not to take him permanently. Yeah, good choice. Then yeah. the space at Juve will be filled by Mario Cardi, who plays for Inter, <laughs> who they're going to have to get rid of because they're bringing in Dzeko. So he's going to like Juventus. Random so there's three players, three clubs, and they're all just yeah. going, <clears throat> we need a striker, but we yeah. don't want this one. Can you have him? Yeah, we'll have him, but someone's going yeah. to take him. And then Roma will be like, we'll have him. Like Bonucci. Yeah, yeah, they do it all the time. Benucci yeah, exactly. went yeah, in three it, seasons. It, 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 yeah. yeah, he yeah, went yeah. Juve Milan back to Juve. Yeah. And he only left because he had a massive falling out with Allegri. Yeah. And Allegri apparently said he will I'll re-sign him, but he has to come Surely in and apologize. All speculation. <laughs> all speculation. Okay. Yeah. Allegri said he has to come in and personally apologise to me. And he did. And then they went, okay, we'll sign you back. It's mad, the love is tiff. It's all speculation. Man United this year. Romelu was Lukaku a, was a, was cannot a handle play. Yeah, but the, Romelu the, Lukaku last year, cannot handle play. It was a horrible play. place to play. And they're still not playing to his strengths. I'm no. sorry, they're not. No, they're not. Anywhere else, horrendous. he's been consistent in his approach, consistent in his goal scoring yeah. for like, what, been, four years now? Yeah. When he gets to Man United, uh, yeah. And with Belgium, oh, no, no. still with Belgium. Well, with Belgium, yeah. he scores. I mean, he's yeah, he, needs a, he needs a team where he'll be the star player. He, yes. he can't be. Yeah. He can't well, be the second. Or like he has to be like. One I think it's United yeah. system. I think he'd flourish elsewhere. Yeah. But, yeah. Anyway, but the problem was they is, figured out to use him. It's all speculation. So this oh, is Man United change. place again. No. It's all speculation. If you're sorry, and you get offered more money, more power, and a, at a much much bigger club. Of course you're going to go. Of course he's going to go to Juventus. And, and, and Juventus, uh, compared to Chelsea, Chelsea are nothing. And Chelsea are, are on now two year transfer ban as well, so. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah, good point, yeah. And they've sold Hazard. The it's all speculation. <laughs>
get involved with it and it's all over social media in a very positive way and it is like it is tremendous thing i think the timing of it's very good yeah i think all of that marketing overshadows like the england england game even i think it's, they've done really it's really well really to good. promote it you've got usa those viewers are incredible yes yeah, what six million people watching it at its peak is mad it's mad it's um yeah, it's huge did, the, your, did your daughter watch it she is she doesn't really like football um, the, USA, <laughs> <laughs> the USA team um, won 13 nil against yeah. Thailand. That's probably like best team is the worst team. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty much. Yeah, that's, that's cool. I, don't, I don't think it was all the goalkeeper's fault. I saw some <laughs> social media um, some posts of it wasn't, uh, indicating no. um, that the goalkeeper couldn't be bothered. And there was a video, which is always harsh, isn't it? Yeah. If yeah. someone replayed you doing something, yeah. I'd think, oh, okay, that's harsh. And right. Why, why are you recording me for one? I say the more the merrier, because it's something you don't really see too often. The problem is the USA team. And like hell, you, you'd celebrate a goal if you scored a goal. Not if we were winning 12 yeah, you nil. Would. You <laughs> would. <laughs> you, if you would like playing five a side and you score right. like an eighth goal and you kill, so you'd still celebrate. Or she just scored. at least 10 minutes, you wouldn't be like... Any, if I scored my fifth goal and it was my team's... 13th goal, yeah. I'd be like, oh, it's getting dull. Yeah, but I'd celebrate. <laughs> like, I'd, I'd hopefully get a bonus for that, that'd be good. Or second of all, like, that's a goal for your country. Yeah. I know, but I've got four. Your country. Already. Nah, I just, I won't have any. I won't have any. <laughs> Why am I, I making sunshine? It? Right. All the time. Uh, the Brazil player as well, I've forgotten her name now. I'm terribly underprepared. The Brazil player played in a seventh World Cup, I believe. Yeah, Martin. Martin, you What was her name? Patrick, was it? Yeah. yeah. It's unreal. Is that, that was awesome. That yeah. That too. That was awesome. Yeah, Buffon played in what five? Hello. Can I help? You have reached listener feedback. We ask a question and then we ask people to give us their answer. Being in Kongs this week, we we did a special Twitter question, which was this week we're recording at Kongs Cardiff, so we went, want to know what is your favourite football computer game of all time. It sparked a riot in our mentions. debate. A riot. Guys, what um, are your favourites? Just before we start this. Um, when I grew up, grew up, I was playing a game on SNES. I can't get his name up there, I suppose, but it's a football game. Uh, Super, was, Super Soccer? Yeah, Super, Super, Star, Star, yeah, Super, Super Star Soccer? Yeah, yeah, there was a few of them. Do you know my favourite was uh, World Cup 98 on the PlayStation. Uh, really? Yeah, yeah, World Cup 98 was the one. <laughs> I, I love loved it. it. It's the only World Cup game that I've loved what the game like absolutely the gameplay of it was phenomenal like it was the first fifa trials the fifa 99 gameplay in the world cup favorite game mine would be yeah. fifa 98 nah. i played the shit out of that <laughs> or yeah uh then i'll say i'm football manager Oh. Yeah, football manager. I, I started yeah. 40, and 94, 95, and then I got hooked. I started in 2000, and then I went, I think at Leeds, I think Leeds was in the premiership at the time, nice. and, yeah. uh, and they had Harry Kuehl and all the rest, but um, yeah. our friend Mitch, when he did negotiations, he would wear a suit, yeah. Like when yeah. You, <laughs> Yeah. Get, get and then he'd have a sheepskin when he's when he was like watching him on like on the side yeah, of the yeah, game. Yeah. <laughs> the big game. So uh, my favourite yeah. football manager was back. I I started playing Championship Manager. Yeah. It was then. Yeah. Championship Manager well, also, yeah. Yeah. when uh, you had to load it via MS DOS. Yeah. That's yeah. Fair. yeah. That, well. no, yeah. Restart. that yeah. was that was the year. Uh, um, favourite. Sensible soccer for me was the best. Sensible yeah. soccer is very sensible. good. Do you know what else? Very sensible decision. World Cup '94. When you could run away from the ref and you wouldn't get Yeah, that was very good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That, that happened on there. I think that was also FIFA 95 or whatever. That game used to be in oh, sorry, Dorothy's on, on Caroline Street. I used to play it in there. <laughs> did you? Yeah, did too. Right. That's some chips. That's some chips too. That's yeah. how it works. Right. Let's go back to the we're in into Twitter. Gareth's been in touch. Yeah, Captain Gareth. Yeah, Gareth Jones, legend of the of the of our world. He said, <laughs> easy mate. He said, easy mate. <laughs> Sega Worldwide Soccer 97. On the Sega Saturn, never. a game which I am ashamed Saturn. to play. I never, never played. He's been banging on about Did it. Play FIFA Street. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. FIFA Street is good. FIFA uh, One is great. Oh, yeah. On one of the recent Fifas, they brought back in the Journey episode. I think it might be this year's actually. In the Journey episode of FIFA, the they played in Brazil, and it was that gameplay, the FIFA Street oh, really? gameplay. 
There's only for one game. You couldn't play any other time, but just that one. Do you know feature they should bring back on FIFA when you see the free kicks? But like you can like choose where you want to hit the ball. Yes. Yeah. The free yeah. kicks on FIFA need a lot of work, right? Yeah. Now. You know they or are the difficult. Swat button. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mitch, our podcast ho- co-host. There you go. Mitch Boom. came in. That's a solid game. He said, Worldwide Soccer is a great shout, Gareth, but I did enjoy this a lot. Oh, yes, and yes. it's International Superstar Soccer 2000 yeah, yeah, yeah. on the N64. Yeah, that's, that's a very good game. Classic. I came in World Cup 98, but I've already said that. So we'll move on to Jordan Lloyd, captain of CSKA, Sophia Gardens. <laughs> Pro Evo 5, every time. The oh. gameplay was outstanding, and the Master League was the most enjoyable game mode of any football game. I agree. Yeah. That, 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 and and Pro Evo 5 was at like, the pinnacle of the power. It was, then, it was a great that, Pro Evo. Yeah. Then our, our eyes got directed towards FIFA. Yeah. Then, I, I think it was like Pen 6 with like Adriano and the Yeah. Yeah. I think, that was I, still good. Do you know, I think the soundtrack pulled everyone in to, to FIFA once they established that as. There was, yeah, soundtrack there was a soundtrack to our still soundtracks. soundtracks to our head when like our screensavers if we drift yeah. off from work or yeah. in the day like they started a proper movement with, with those type of things yeah uh, Jack has been in Maverick Jack. too he said easily football slash championship manager in mm-hmm. any in all its iterations there you go I've lost weeks if not years of my time to the game other one shout out to Gareth Townsend who got in touch which came in late but I've remembered it burned it into my memory. He said football manager as well, and so much so he's now the assistant researcher for Old Mathletic due to his time that how much he's as football fair manager. Fair. <laughs> he that. now works for Oldham Athletic, informing them of Possibly. champ man football manager players. That's a dream, man. That's yeah. the dream, isn't it? Um, Nathan, he says football manager too. Jamie at Welsh Ice. He's come in and said didn't even need to think about it, and he's saying ISS too on the PlayStation, this is a great game. Uh, Alton Williams. Sledge, a sledge yeah, shout out. At All right, right Babes. Babes. Yeah. Came in, match day two on the Spectrum. We thank very much to everyone who got involved. The return of our favorite game that we've ever played on this. In honor of you, Tom, for being a Luton and Liverpool fan. <laughs> What connects those two cities? Airports. That's good, what connects good those. Link. Good link. So, Excellent. we're going to play airport versus stadium. We will give you a name and you need to tell me whether that is a stadium or whether it is an airport. Great. The teams tonight will be Rob and Tom from Kongs, your team Kongs. Mm-hmm. Paddy, you're on your own. That's Come on, Paddy. Win, but you are team a touchline ranked. Fine. So, <laughs> do it for us, Paddy. Fresh, that's a lot of pressure. Do it for us, Paddy. Right. Right. Uh, quick question. Is it stadium? All over the world. Yes, it yes, is. Yeah. It is. And everywhere. <laughs> we Luton. <find. laughs> yeah. well, it won't be that easy. Yeah, it won't be like Heathrow. <laughs> so it'll be if we ever find a stadium name or an airport name that's funny, we write it down. Yeah. <laughs> and we found that and now anyway, we've got a reason to play. Right, ready. The first one is Bulgarian Army. So is that who's who's that going to Yeah, be? is it the first one to answer, is it? Just you can both like say. Well, Paddy, we'll give it to you first. Stadium, got to be stadium. Okay, you guys in stadium. Team Kongs. Yeah, stadium. Stadium. It is. It is a. Bul- it's the Bulgarian Army Stadium, or the Balgraska Armia. Nice. It's home of CSK Sofia and holds just under twenty-three thousand. What a terrible name. Yeah, yeah it is really a bad, bad name. That's one all. Really that is one all. Number two. Cost City. Spell that. K H O S T. Cost. Ah, oh, that's definitely. Airport. You can guess. Should we go stadium? Oh, there is oh. tension. Paddy, have you got airport? I'm, I'm fully airport. I'm going to go stadium. Stadium. Ah, oh, Kong, take the lead. Oh. <laughs> it is a multi purpose stadium in Kost, Afghanistan. It holds 18,000 and is the home to both the national football and the cricket team. Well, I knew that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You were superb there. Right, three. Skopje. Spell that. S K O P J E International. Okay, I'll leave that to you. Well, we'll flip. Okay. Airport again. Airport, airport again. Team Kongs. Uh, airport. Going airport. It is. You're both right. Skopje International Airport, formerly known as Skopje Alexander the Great, is one of the two main airports in that. Macedonia. Mm. I was going to say that. Yeah. Number four, Children's Mercy. What? <laughs> Jesus Christ, thank you, pardon. Children's Mercy. 
Team Kongs, you can give us your the answer first. Airport? Yeah, come on. I'm gonna have to hurry you guys. Yeah. Airport. 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 <laughs> team touchline run. I'll go stadium. It is a stadium. He's pulled it around. <laughs> He's pulled it around. <laughs> Children's Mercy is home to MLS side Sporting Kansas City. That why is three. Is it, why is it called that though? I don't know. Oh, dude, I thought you had. <laughs> no, that's it. Children's Mercy. That is this three. Is three, 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 three all. They can call it what they want, Paddy. It's their stadium. <laughs> what, worst name. Well, it's your three name. It's right. three all. Bulgaria well, Army was better. Dakla Oasis. <laughs> right. Dakla. Dakla Oasis. Dakla Oasis. D a k h l a Oasis. O A S I S. Who's gonna go first? Right. We're gonna go uh, stadium. Oh, stadium. I was gonna say airport. So. Oh. Well, Dakla well, Oasis is an airport oh. serving the archaeological region of Dakla Oasis in Egypt. I blame Tom for this. Yeah, <laughs> for the Paddy, 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 Paddy takes the lead. Paddy takes the lead. <laughs> Representing. Okay. Right. You got to. What's the scores on the doors, Miss Ford? <coughs> Paddy's just paced into the lead with four. four. Uh, Tom and Rob still lagging a bit with three. Three, okay, so they're still in it. Right, still we're going to go in. Osan Muntsu. Oh. Go. I don't remember. I'm going to have to hurry, you boys. Had airport. Airport. Oh. I was going to go to stadium. Are you sticking with stadium? I'm going to go stadium. It is a stadium. Oh. oh. You just went, oh, of course he's going to know that. <laughs> <laughs> this is home to South Korean team, Ulsan Hyundai FC. That's a classic 44,000. That's massive for something I've never heard of. <laughs> uh, Maya Maya. Ooh. Shall I answer first this time? Go on, Pad, you. I'll go airport. Great. Where are you going to go? Stadium. Stadium. It's an airport. Oh. It's the International Airport of Brazzaville, which is the capital of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. <laughs> which is Everyone, Everyone, knew, that. That. Everyone, Everyone knew that. Providence. It's 6 3. Mm. Cons, you've got to pull this in. Come back. There, there are three more. So okay. if he gets them wrong, uh, okay. you get them right. Paddy might have cheated. I'm gonna I'll say airport. Airport. Oh, I'm saying airport. You off it then? It's almost yeah. you've gotta go off it, it really. Stadium. It's a stadium. You're in. Ooh, it's home to the in. MLS side, the Portland Timbers. You're it's in. It's half the size, half the size of all Sam went to. Six four. Six four. Six four. Six four, six, four. Six, four with two to play. Sheremetativo. <laughs> <laughs> I have no, I pronounce that wrong every time I've said it so far. How do you? Sheremetvio. Keeps changing every time. Right Paddy, what are you saying? Uh, uh, it's pretty much whatever you're going to say. You're going to go the opposite? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, do you want to go first? <laughs> what are you going to no, go? No, you just do just like... No, go. Whoever. Right, I'll go airport. Oh. What are you, you going to go? Just <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to go? Stadium. 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 Yeah, unfortunately it is an airport. Ah. <laughs> For you, Kong's team at Touchline Run. It's the first time I've won this quiz, and it was because of Paddy. I've given it its full name, the A.S. Pushkin Sheremetivo International Airport. Oh, it's one of the hungry. four international airports. I'm reading that, that. <laughs> but it serves the city of Moscow. Oh, it's the busiest Moscow. airport in Russia. Uh, how many is this, this one worth? Go on. Let's we'll go three. Next goal wins. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Next goal wins. <laughs> right. Pickle Lake. Oh, <laughs> As if. As if that's a name for either. It's absolutely ridiculous. No, I quit just because of that. <laughs> Pickle Lake. Had. Go on. Stadium? Airport? You, go, you guys go first. Sounds like it's it, your place. Like it's Pickle oh, and Lake. And I'm just small airport for Lake. Just like stay somewhere. Like. <laughs> Small Air airport, airport I'm hearing here. Airport? Pickle. Yeah, airport. Small oh, yeah. as a pickle. Stadium. Everything's pickle shaped. Pickle Lake is a small airport southwest uh, of Ontario, okay. Canada. <laughs> it literally, the notes are small airport. <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous. There you go, shaped final like scores. I mean, the touchline ramp one. But that was, that was a good what's the final it score. Miss Ford. Uh, it was uh, seven to five. Seven to five. It wasn't close. Why do we like games so much? 
Uh, there's got to be an element of escapism in there. Yeah, yeah that, sure. there's also the accomplishment. So a lot of it, isn't it? It's levels. It, it's you're, you're going through. So it's achievement, getting an achievement. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Achievement. But that's why, like, for example, COD does so well because you do something that's like pops up and you get like a like a medal or you get whatever. Because mm. it definitely does come about achieving something and progressing and. Yeah. yeah. It's clever how the games are set up in order to for you to get that and to continually to to play them all the time. Especially games nowadays, there's a lot of that going on. But it, but now it feels a bit fake at times. Like I, I like that's why with old school gaming, I felt like there was a lot more pleasure out of it because it was hard mm. and you had to work for it to pass that level. Yeah. yeah. But nowadays, some of some of it is just like it just feels like they're just giving out any accomplishment. Like yeah, you did pass the level. Here you go. Here's a little award. Here's yeah. a little, like so. It's just. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think that's why I personally prefer like old school games. Like for me, it, it's they're a lot harder. So when you do get past, they're it. a lot harder. There's one. I'll throw a random one out there, which I was only talking about a few weekends ago. Does anyone remember the Lion King game on Mega Drive? Yeah, yeah good game. I, I have it on Super Nintendo. It's bang. Yeah, the wildebeest, <laughs> the wildebeest level of that game. game. Right? Yes. Yeah. The yeah. wildebeest level of that game is to date the hardest thing I've ever done in my entire life. It is really hard. <laughs> it is, actually, yeah, yeah. yeah it's it's ridiculous. ridiculous. It genuinely is. You have to bounce from wildebeest all over to me. It's <laughs> solid. <laughs> I remember completing it. I have, I have yet to find feel such pure joy. <laughs> <laughs> For me, it was Fantasia on Mega Drive. So first yes. of all, I had like the Fantasia um, soundtrack, which is banging classical music. I was just like, oh. <laughs> That's the noise I made when I was a kid. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> not when I'm an adult. No, not at all. Uh, and then like it was excessively hard, but I just I'd commit to it. And when I beat it, I was like, yeah, it's it was. Yeah. That moment, it? It's just what about the Michael Jackson game. Yeah, Moonwalker, is it? Yeah. I can't say I've played that one. <laughs> that was good. Good game. There's no game that Michael Jackson wants to play that I want to be involved in. <laughs> <laughs> it was real. Did he? Okay, fair enough. Um, is that your little section? Oh, well, okay. I, I, uh, I played the Zelda Ocarina of Time on N64. Nice. Yes. Yeah, my favorite, one of my favorite ever games. Last yeah, question. Yeah. What's the most anticlimactic finish to a, when you've completed a game? Uh, didn't know where that was going. That's why I put it in there. But it's just, I think Alex the Kid was really disappointed. Do you know what? Yeah, yeah. Um, Paperboy. Paperboy was the letdown. You did. So, you delivered so many papers, right? You just delivered papers. Yeah. It's like this. You just, I've just worked. <laughs> 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 created the game of a person working it. I had what? a paper round since I was ten. Yeah, I was as well. Uh, it's going into PC games. Uh, theme Hospital. That was oh, hey. The only good thing about Theme Hospital after a certain amount of time was you had to get to shoot the rats that ran past <laughs> with a space battery. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Um, thank you very much for coming on. Yeah, cheers, guys. It's been, thanks, guys. Yeah, it's been a blast. It felt huge.